I have absolutely no idea of how to start this video, okay? I have no idea. The point is, a little while back, I made a video stating that I felt like I was coming to the end of this YouTube endeavor. I wasn't feeling good about it. I felt like I was putting more time into it than I was getting out, and I was feeling like it just wasn't worth it. And it's like, it wasn't like I was gonna quit immediately, but I was like, I felt like we were getting closer to the end of this endeavor than we were at the beginning. In the end, I decided to try something new in that I just generally spend a bit less time making the videos. So, cutting back on the editing and such, cutting back on the animations, and just you know, make a proportionate amount of effort onto the videos to what I'm likely to get in return in terms of views. And I do think I've learned a lesson from all of this, is that success on YouTube is something that fluctuates. It's never guaranteed, even if you've got proven success on the platform. So basically, don't give up everything you have to do YouTube. Do not give more of yourself and more of your time than you're likely to get back through, uh, audience reception or it could be creative fulfillment. It could be that you just get a massive kick out of every single aspect of doing YouTube. And I respect the hell out of that. But when you're giving it maximum effort on constructing your thoughts, doing your research, editing the videos, animating an avatar, doing all of your own SEO, doing all of your own thumbnails, it can really get on top of you. And I, I make no secret, I do all of this myself. I don't have an editor, and I'm just gonna say this right now for starter YouTubers that can't afford editors or, or can't afford people to assist with their videos or anything like that, be careful. You might enjoy doing consistent content and doing all aspects of it, but it does get fatiguing, it does get on top of you, and it can affect your mental health if you're not getting the results that you want to see. So I made some cutbacks. I've generally put a bit more gameplay in the background of my videos. I'm uh, not fussing about too much doing the animated avatar anymore, just for brief moments uh, here and there. And life's been a lot easier since that. It, it didn't help that my mental health has been in all kinds of crazy positions recently. With things going on in my personal life that I don't want to divulge too far into, but basically I haven't been in a good place over the past few months and stuff. I, I think I'm starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel here, but times are tough. Times are really, really tough. And sometimes when you're feeling that emotionally exhausted, it can become even more exhausting to do YouTube. And then when you don't get results back that you want to see, or even, you know, close to that, it hurts. It stings. But I guess I'll cut to the chase a little bit here. I've carefully evaluated things. I've given myself a chance to kind of breathe a little more in, you know, cutting back on doing the editing and stuff. And just, you know, letting my channel feel, I guess, like a smaller YouTube channel in the process. And to be honest, proportionately speaking, I'm happier with how it's going now. The response from viewers has been great. I'm, I'm happy with the response I've been getting. I'm happy that people have been as understanding as they have been. And I'm happy just, you know, recording videos like this without having to worry about some massive uphill battle editing. I mean, it also doesn't help that, I, I don't know what's happened, but I swear Adobe Premiere Pro is getting worse and worse with every update. It's so buggy now, it freezes all the time. I mean, I edit on a laptop and stuff like that. I'm not in the, you know, market for a full-on PC and, you know, I wouldn't even have the space for it in this little apartment. Put it this way, I've been a relatively, relatively speaking here, small YouTuber in the grand scheme of things, uh, with minimal equipment, very cheap stuff, trying to be a much bigger YouTuber that has lots more resources and trying to make these really high production value videos uh, with this nice animated dog and everything and uh, it's, it doesn't really work. So being able to just talk and ramble and enthuse with you guys while there's some gameplay footage on in the background or when there's just a little pup bobbing up and down and stuff, like, it makes things ten times easier. Ten times easier and I feel so much better about it and when I do get the views I feel better about them as well because I didn't give myself up for it. I don't feel like I'm dragging myself to make content anymore and I'm actually enjoying doing this again. I'm, I'm enjoying doing YouTube again. I mean like I never feel great about doing scalebacks. I never feel great about that. I like to think that with every video I'm doing the absolute best that I can and it's like making a scaleback can feel a little strange, but all the same, you're doing what's best both for yourself and for your content. So like, yeah, I guess a piece of advice I'd give to smaller YouTubers is don't give more of yourself than you're willing to give. 
Don't, don't detriment yourself trying to make your videos perfect. Do the best you can for you. But basically the bottom line, basically the main thing I want to put out there is I'm not thinking about ending this YouTube channel. I was in an incredibly dark place at the time that I made that video. And everything got on top of me and everything felt so heavy. And now I feel like a huge amount of weight is off my shoulders. I feel so much better about this now. I've actually even got like a little project planned for October, a little Halloween project. Fingers crossed I don't get hacked this October so I can actually go through with it. But I want to do like a Tim Burton month where I go through my favorite Tim Burton movies and talk about those a little bit. Stray off of the comic book stuff a little bit. Of course there will be Batman 89 and Batman Returns in there. But in the process we get to cover some new ground and I, I think people will really enjoy that. Like, even if you haven't even seen those films, I can I can give a recommendation. I can give a thumbs up and you guys can go check them out in the way you can. So yeah, that will be that. I'm just letting you guys know I'm feeling better now. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think there's a bright future ahead for this channel and the content on it. And for all of us together. You know, I still insist that the YouTube algorithm is way more punishing than it needs to be for whenever people want to take a break or go on a siesta or something. But you gotta work with it, you know? You, you gotta work with it and not have it work against you, you know? Don't lose yourself in the algorithm. Or else you will get lost in the algorithm. Like, okay, I thought I had something profound to say there, but apparently I don't. So, yeah. Just as I wasn't sure how to begin this video, I'm not sure how to end this video. So I guess I'll end it like I always do. By shamelessly plugging myself. So what do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video and you want to support more like it, be sure to hit that big, beautiful subscribe button. And of course, in the description below are links to different social media feeds, including the Patreon. If you're feeling extra generous like the following people, who are JK Strife, Marcus Ward, Sirius the Skeptic, Biotin Arts, Mr. SP, Sergio, Adam Myers, and Fayalan Schwarzenkrau. Thank you guys, you are the best of the best, but as for the rest of you, Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.